What we're going to do in this uh, first session is just uh, download Yape, yet another P buttons extractor, uh, from uh, Docker Hub as per the instructions here on the GitHub page. And then we'll just run uh, a simple command and just go through the process so you're familiar. Uh, I recommend using the Docker version, the, the container, uh, just because it's the latest stable version. And also you, because Yape is written in Python, you can get yourself into a little bit of a tangle as far as you know Python versions or libraries and so on. So you know, if you really do want to, you certainly can run it and uh, make changes for yourself. On your local PC, but the container is just nice and simple for most uses. It's uh, kept over on Docker Hub, so uh, the links are here, so there's no real problem. And I'll show you exactly how we go through. So what have we got? We've got a folder at the moment, and I've got a single HTML file in it. And if I go across to my terminal, um, I'm in fact in the same uh, folder. So I'm just sitting in that folder with the HTML version. You can be anywhere on the system to download the Docker image, but um, let's just do that first. So let's have a look at what images I do have. I've got a, a few, but uh, not Yape. So let's get uh, let's get Yape Docker pull and Yape Yape, and that will go off and get the latest version by default. As I said, you don't have to actually be in any particular directory to pull the image, but we will want to be in this directory when we start running uh, some commands. So because some of this was cached, you know, it's going to be nice and quick. And the first thing we want to do is just, let's run a simple command, um, the help command. So this is, what's, what's happened here is I've run docker run, and then uh, the container name, and then because the container, when it was built, uh, only runs Yake, that's all it does, um, anything after the container name is us passing parameters to the, to the Yake command. And so in this case, it was just help. If I was to um, run version, then it's just going to echo back the version number. Uh, in this case, 2.2.3. The other thing that uh, I put on the command line here was this minus minus rm. And what that is, is um, uh, uh, telling Docker to clean up after itself. So there's nothing left behind, um, you know, as once that container has disappeared. Well, let's, let's do something a little bit more interesting now. Let's uh, go through and I'll cut and paste because my typing is terrible. We'll run another Docker command. And in this case, I'm going to run, uh, once again, we've got the RM for clean up after yourself. But this time it's got a, a minus V, uh, which says mount a volume. And the volume in this case is PWD. In uh, Linux, uh, that just means uh, current directory. So I'm saying make the current directory mapped to something called slash data. Now, slash data um, is, you know, could be any name we make up. And then here's the yape. You could substitute that and just say, all right, this is the yape command. I'm asking it to plot mg stat and vm stat in this case. Uh, minus c says also uh, spit out CSV files for all the different sections of the uh, perfmon file. Um, and the reason for that is that it can be really useful later if you wanted to examine things further or make some you know, nicer charts. You can just uh, suck that into Excel. And then we pass the name of the HTML file. And because as far as the container is concerned, anything in the current directory is in slash data, the name we tell uh, Yape that's running inside the container is slash data and then the HTML file name. We can see here now that um, while well, I've been talking that uh, the Yape has been munching through that file and you know extracting out the sections and trying to make sense of um, you know dates and, and whatever else uh, that it's doing. Um, and also remember we asked it for MG stat and VM stat data. So uh, it's starting to plot those out as just PNG files. And once again it's putting them in slash data 
and then a folder which is just built from the P buttons uh, file name. And so what I'll do is I'll just uh, pause the video for a sec. And that was just to, you know, help things go a little bit quicker. So let's do an ls command. And what have we got? Well, we've got our original HTML file, um, file is here. And also we've got a folder. So let's go across the finder, which makes things a bit easy to see. And if I look in that folder, uh, we've got the CSV files we asked for, for all the sections, including uh, IOSTAT. And then we've got uh, the MGSTAT section, so we can see by refs or uh, the VM stat stuff that we asked for. And you know, you can just uh, quickly you know, skip through and see what your system was up to. Uh, if you're troubleshooting, you know, maybe this will help you figure out what was going on at certain times of the day. And that's it for this one. Uh, we'll come back later and start to do a few more interesting things.